Hello and welcome to the boot room one more time, Stu. We're back here for one last look at game 46 of Ipswich Town's championship season. The last championship game to be played by Ipswich Town for at least one year. How are you feeling heading into this game? I agree with Paul Lambert. Everybody is ready for a break. This needs to be finished. Another dead rubber. Leeds need a bit of momentum going into the playoffs, but it doesn't really mean anything, does it? No. This it, season needs to be done. This was supposed to mean something, wasn't it? This was supposed to be Leeds' promotion party. There's 4,000 fans with tickets. However many thousand fans are meant to be coming down to watch this game. They've booked out every hotel room in, mm. in Ipswich on Saturday night and they've then gone and lost to Wigan, lost to Brentford, drew with Aston Villa. It means nothing for them either, no. so it should be good. Can't even change their spot in the playoffs, they're guaranteed third, so um, I would think Bielsa will go reasonably strong. They'll want to get some sort of positivity going again, heading into those, those playoff games. And Ipswich, you want some kind of positivity to send both themselves, fans, staff, players, send everybody off into the summer with at least a crumb of, of comfort because wind the clock back to the Birmingham game where relegation was confirmed. There was some poignant scenes on the pitch between fans and players. That's dripped away a little bit. Three yeah. three games since, not not good. And, and here we are with dead rubber number four. Let's get it done. Uh, line up. Um, Bart's in goal, we know that. That was always the plan from Easter weekend onwards. Gherkin would get two games, Bart would get the last one. Bart's farewell game? Who knows? Who That's, knows? The goalkeeper scenario is uh, very much up in the air at the moment, isn't it? Heading into the summer, but we know Bart will be in goal. I think he might go with wing backs again. Yeah? Yeah, and I think he might give Cole Scoos another little go at the uh, the heart of a back three, because I thought he was the one minor positive to take from okay. the Sheffield United game. So I'll stick Cole Scoos at the heart of a back three again. I'll have him flanked by Chambers and Enciala. We did wonder whether um, Corey and Darber might get his debut, but Paul <laughs> Lambert at his press conference today says... He changed his mind on that after his performance for the for the 23s in midweek and that uh, it wasn't up to the standard he requires. So that's an interesting one going forwards. I think give the two young fullbacks their chance as wingbacks, Ken Lock and Emmanuel. Midfield three. Nolan is back. Lambert says. <laughs> Nolan is back. <laughs> Nolan is back. You should call him Nolo. Are you up for calling him Nolo? Because that's what Lambert calls him. I'm not up for that. No. no. No, I, I agree. I, I was pleased Lambert moved away from uh, from Chambos and Scoozies, but Nolo's slipped through the net, so Nolo's going to play in midfield, which is good. Um, Downs, I'll have alongside him. And I just wonder whether Tristan Nydam will be given a chance. I'm not convinced he will, but um, if you're going to go for, a, for an element of it, okay. experimental, then you could chuck Tristan in, couldn't you? He's someone Why who's quite, quite scrappy and has quite a bit of desire and... Um, I think they need an injection of that in this dead rubber game. And then that leaves you not a huge amount going forwards because there's a whole host of injuries. I think Colin Quayna is their best chance of a fit striker. So I think uh, he will be up front with Alan Judge given a bit of a, a free floaty role in behind. That's the team I'm going for. I don't think he will go with the back three, but I think we've pretty much got the same team actually there's not a lot left no, to be fair. there are 11 players and that is it but Barton goal back four I'd go Emmanuel Chambers and Ciara came up Skews moved about four yards further forward playing a holding midfield role Downs Nolan no 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 uh, Downs and Nolan wide players there's nothing there is there no, everybody's injured assuming Grill Edwards isn't fit I'd Give Teddy Bishop the nod in the wide area. We've seen Dezelbo, we've seen, seen Elman Nizuni there. Give it to Bishop, Judge on the left, and then Quayner, the only man through the middle. So, my friend, for the final time this season, where will this game be won or lost? We have to put the emphasis on lost again, don't we? 
sadly. Um, no other game be lost, Stu. Well, I think where the game, where Ipswich will struggle to get a result is, is Ipswich's, uh, is Leeds' defence. Um, one of the meanest in the league, I think third best defensive record, 47 goals conceded, just have to check my notes, Ipswich don't score goals. This could be the first time they've gone through an entire season without scoring three goals or more in a home game. They've only scored twice at Portman Road in a game on three occasions, Blackburn opening day, and then the Millwall and Bristol City um, punch to the gut defeats that kind of set the wheels in motion for relegation. So um, Pontus Janssen and Liam Cooper, I think, as a, as a central defensive duo for Leeds are excellent. Ipswich, we know, are really lacking in, in strikers. So I think those two will, will dominate in the air and they'll probably provide a bit of an offensive threat from set pieces as well. Mm. That's, that's the area I'd be looking at. Offensive threat. Look no further than Pablo Hernandez if he plays tortured it's which in the first game at Elland Road, which proved to be Paul Hurst's last random ragged. He can cut inside and go outside. Set piece is brilliant, can score from range, can thread passes through to whoever's playing up front. Won't be Patrick Bamford, he's suspended. Um but yeah, top class player. Got probably gonna have too much for it, so he certainly did in October. Super. please from you uh, one nil leads one nil leads I say two nil leads 